previously on Hell's Kitchen. Trev, Trev thought he was gone. Take your jacket off. But Chef Ramsay gave him one more chance. You'll go back in the men's team. Bye, Trevor. Then, the four men faced off against four women in the blind taste test. What was that? Russell got the men off to an early lead. Grapefruit. But Rob was hopeless. Octopus chef. Smoked oh. muscles. Zero. Zero, bro. And known as outstanding performance. In dive. Three out of four. Clinched a come from behind victory for the women. Well done, Nona. I saved the team. But after being the hero in the challenge, Nona had a miserable night on me. Fuck off. Get out of my fucking way. Get out of my way. Fuck off upstairs then. I have so much more to show. Sabrina rocked the fish station. They're nice to color those scallops. And had her best performance yet. They were perfect. In the blue kitchen, Trev did not get any respect from his teammates. Give me a hand with this. Bro, you're on your own. But after Rob screwed up the fish. I've got no color on my scallops. Vinny made a mess of the spinach. A big fucking white nose to his ass. Get out! And Russell undercooked the chicken. The chicken's raw. Chef Ramsay showed his appreciation for Trev. Last man standing. As he was clearly the best of the worst, he nominated Rob. And then he decided to take a run at Russell. He was supposed to be driving the team tonight, and he did. Chef Ramsay decided to send home Rob. Give me a jacket. Putting an end to the dream of a 36-year-old law firm chef from Brooklyn. Continuation of Hell's Kitchen. You gotta talk to me about this. It just got grimy, bro. Don't think that wasn't the toughest decision I've had to make. Say whatever you want. I don't care about you, Vinny. I don't care about you, Trev. You guys just fucked me over so royally bad. Just got dirty. Time into the train tracks. I came out alive, and you are in so much fucking trouble, bro. You need to talk to me about this. Whatever. You know I don't make decisions based on emotion or anything, Russell. Everybody knows that was a strategic move to the fullest. Russell, he's throwing a temper tantrum like a little kid. You were the only one who screamed and yelled at. Everybody's got to bring their A game. And if you think you're just going to coast on the fact that you've been doing this longer, guess what? There might be a changing in the guard. It might be my turn to lead. You needed, you know, a boot to the ass. I need a boot in the ass. Everybody needs to look around at themselves before they start looking at other people. After another dinner service victory, the women are feeling quite giddy. <laughs> the men, not surprisingly, are feeling quite the opposite. Inconceivable. As for Chef Ramsay, he's concerned about something he's not seeing on either team. If there's one issue I have with all of you is that we do not communicate enough. If we don't communicate properly, your timing will be way off, right? Yes, sure. sure. Our next challenge is all about communication and timing. We're screwed. I'm the only one that communicates. Trev's a little spineless rug rat, and Vinny doesn't communicate for shit. Here's how it works. As a team, you'll have 30 minutes to cook three entrees from our regular menu. Here's the catch. Only one of you will be in the kitchen at a time. When you get in the kitchen, you start cooking for five minutes. When those five minutes are up, you'll switch out, and you'll have 15 seconds to communicate what's been done, what's working, what needs to be done to the next chef. Yes, chef. chef. I want to beat the girls. We have to lay it all on the fucking table. It's now or never. 
Since you have 30 minutes, blue team, you all go twice. Red team, only two of you will go twice. OK, Sabrina and Russell, meet me in the kitchen. The rest of you, wait behind me with your sous chefs. Let's go. In today's communication relay challenge, each team will have to prepare three dishes. Tagliatelle pasta with mushrooms, poached chicken with green beans, and salmon with lobster ragu. Five minutes, starting from now. Off we go. Hello, Sabrina. Go, Russ. Go it. For this challenge, Chef Ramsay has selected three dishes with three completely different cooking times and techniques. All right, I'll just roll out the pasta. To succeed, the teams must time each dish out precisely. Set it up for success, and we're all good to go. go which can only be accomplished by great communication. Come on, Russ. This is a relay, fellas. Let's fucking kill it. Might have to redo that. 30 seconds to go. Yeah, chef. Come on, Sabrina, you got this. You better have my strategy was roll out the pasta, get all the proteins going. Ah, he's alive! 15 seconds. Ooh, so weird. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. That five minutes completely flew by. Trevor and Julia, let's go. Go, 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 go. The chefs must clearly communicate what they have done so far. Two dishes ready. Chicken's okay. already poached. Pasta's already rolled. Pasta's rolled. And what has yet to be done. It's salmon, tagatelli, and lobster garnish. To ensure that all the dishes are completed correctly and at the same time, just as a dinner service order should be done. Out, Russell! Out, out Sabrina! Get out! Go! 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 I'm going second, I'm like, all right, the first thing I need to do is get these sauces going. Let it go! Come on, Jilly! So I get the tagliatelle sauce going, I get the chicken sauce going, I took the lobster out. I feel like between me and Sabrina, we already got half the work done. Halfway there, Julian. Two and a half minutes to go, Trevor. Things working. Team, push! Pushing. I get a whole bunch of everything. Had the pans all lined up the way I wanted it. Got the salmon, unwrapped the gnocchi. Last minute to go. Let's go, Trev! Green beans, off to the side it goes. Set up for success, hand the ball off the vent. Run and stop. Run, go. Run, run, run. Now, run. Come on. The only thing I didn't do was cook a lobster. All right, everything's on. It's perfectly OK that Trev didn't start the lobster. You got your polenta right here. You got your ragu right here. Here's your suck attached. This is for your nose. Get out! But it's not OK that he failed to communicate that to his teammate. You got everything you need. So, with 20 minutes left, Vinny turns his attention to... Vinny, you're not plating up already, are you? Yes, sir. Pull those. Come on. Come Meanwhile, on. in the red kitchen, Nona that forges ahead, cracking the lobster, poaching the chicken, and seasoning the salmon. I lubed up the salmon so Gail could come in, and all she has to do is put it on the pan. Stop! Hey, Let's yet. go! Start it's round four of six, and with only 15 minutes left... Rush! Yeah. Fuck that tall. Russell wastes no time. Let's go, Gail. Hey, no. While Gail doesn't seem to accomplish anything. This bitch didn't put nothing in. Stop! Move, let's go! go. With two rounds to go, go, Sabrina finally gets the salmon cooking, while in the blue kitchen, Trev still no lobster. Still has not started the lobster. Stop! Final turn! Let's go! And now it's up to Vinny and Jillian to complete cooking and plate all three dishes. Lobster? Lobster? No, it's not in here. Shit, Trevor doesn't have the lobster for the salmon garnish. So me thinking a little bit clever, just poach the tail. Three minutes to go! Yeah, Come on, Vinny! Tighten it up! I got it, guys! I got it! The chicken dish is done. The tagliatelle dish is done. The salmon dish is done. All I need is the fucking salmon. Not done, Tim's not done yet. Go, go, go. 30 seconds to go. Vinny, let's go. Come on, Vinny. Tighten it up. Come on, Vinny. Tighten it up. There you go. Thank you. Yeah. I got a plate in. Four. Three. Oh, what no. Happened? Fuck. Salmon fell on the floor. Oh, the salmon is on the floor. One and stop. I hope that I didn't make the red team lose. Hopefully the guys suck, but whatever. Salmon, pass it down, please. Red team. Oh, dear. Where's the salmon? Dropped it on the floor, chef. You dropped them on the floor? Yes, chef. I just, I've got no salmon here. I burned my hand, that's why I'm I I'm sorry you burnt your hand. Would you like a medic to see your hand? It's OK, Joe. It's OK. 
Gail should have been the one to put that salmon in the oven. If the salmon would have been in the oven beforehand, I wouldn't have been waiting until the last 10 seconds to bring this shit up to the pass. Now, honestly, I'm not fully to blame for it. What a shame, because the actual garnish tastes delicious. Thank you, Chef. Seriously. Blue team. Vinny, did you season any of this? That was all ready I before I went. You did. Salmon, nice and pink. Nice. The lobster. It tastes nice. Delicious. Point for the blue team. The tagliatelle. Pass it down, please. OK. Blue team. I've got clumps of pasta. Billy, did we taste anything as we're plating it? I didn't taste the pasta, no. It's bland. There's not an ounce of seasoning in there. Red team. Pasta slightly drowned. However, seasoning, perfect. That is delicious. Thank you, Chef. Okay, one, one. With the teams tied, it all comes down to the chicken with green beans. Blue team, nice sear on the chicken. Knock it cook properly. My problem's with the raw beans. We blanch the beans in boiling water? I tossed them in. I thought we were going to have enough time for it to simmer in the stock. Did you pass that message on? I should have said I didn't blanch them, though. Red team, gnocchi, crispy, chicken, cooked nicely. I have the same issue with the raw beans. Who done the beans? I put it together, chef. I didn't have enough time to tell Sabrina everything I wanted to. I fucked that. So cool. <sighs> Both had raw beans. Uh, the winning team. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Congratulations. To the men. Yeah, right. Let's go. That's right. Oh, Back again. Yeah, he's talking to us. High five, guys. That's right. Gentlemen, for winning today, I've arranged for an amazing reward. First of all, we've got a shopping spree in one what? of the most amazing cooking stores. Yeah, Solar Tab, oh, yes. Yeah, buddy! After that, you're in for a special treat, because I'm going to take you to one of my all-time favorite restaurants. Oh, beautiful. Currently two stars in Michelin Guide, Melisse. Oh. It's amazing. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Uh, ladies, today is delivery day. <sighs> Every time you hear that horn, Run out there and bring in those deliveries and put them away. Deeply sorry that you dropped the salmon. Had you got that salmon on the plate, you'd be going to Melissa. Guys, congratulations. Upstairs, get dressed. We're leaving shortly. Well, well done, done, guys. Yeah, buddy. The monkey's off my back. <laughs> ah, stinks. Jill, how you doing? I'm fine. Sabrina, why don't you get a wet rag and wipe that salmon up off the floor? They can't be mad at me for dropping a salmon on the ground because I burnt my hand. And if they are, then fuck them. That salmon was cooked perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Later, girls. Later, ladies. Off to a reward. They all look fucking ugly anyway. <laughs> Trev is ugly. Trev is a disaster. <laughs> Trev. I love buying stuff. I love buying stuff. Fuck those bitches. We get a shopping spree, we get lunch with Ramsey. It seems like challenges and me are going together like PB and J. Nice. Hey, guys. Hey. Oh, look who it is. Hey, congratulations. Welcome to Solar Tarb. Thank you. Chef Ramsey gave me the cash for you to buy whatever you want. Let's see what we got. Gotta go, gotta go. I'm just grabbing anything I can get my hands on now. <laughs> Grab one of these, bro. Banging shopping. <laughs> Thank you. Go big, bro, or go home. As the blue team leaves Sir Latab content, back at Hell's Kitchen. What did Gail even do in the kitchen? Something is still bothering Jillian. She fucked up the Harry Covert. She didn't even blanch him. Yeah. Other than that, what did she do? Waste time? Mm -hmm. Not put the salmon in. I don't want to be the reason we lost. Hell yeah, I'm going to defend myself. I'm not going to take the full blame for that shit. Honestly, no, I'm not. I think First Gail should have put that shit First on. First affirmation should have put it on. That should have been the last thing she did. Whatever. I bet the guys are thanking me right now at their lunch. Welcome to Melise. Awesome. Let's go. Thank you, Chef. Good, Good to see you. Good to have you. Thank you so much. One of the best restaurants in the country. What is the secret? Uh, you know, I think it's just every day that we kind of say in pursuit of excellence. He's always striving for that and trying to make it better than the day before. Melise was just awesome. I mean, this is what fine dining is all about. Mm -hmm. That looks fantastic. So here we have uh, main scallops with sagliatelle and a sea urchin. Mm. Enjoy. Thank you. It's delicious. Josiah Citron. His food was 
straight up high class. Chef, mm. you're sitting with the final three. Congratulations. <laughs> Cheers. Vinny, I can't lift my glass up to that again. <laughs> Vinny kind of put himself out there a little too much. If you're going to have all this enthusiasm, that's great, but you better back it up. Anything short of that, you're, you're looking like a dumbass. You got some trouble in your little billy goat beer, says man. There you go. <laughs> Vinny is looking forward to being part of the final three. Oh, that's a delivery, guys. Let's go. Awesome. Meanwhile, the red team is definitely not looking forward to their first deliveries. Man, that's so much shit. Let's get this all moved in. <sighs> OK. This is the one punishment I did not want to have. So much shit out there, dude. Case after case after case. Oh. <laughs> dude, these bags weigh almost as much as I do. Oh. This is definitely a challenge the guys should have freaking lost. Yeah, right? They're back. Let's get somebody to carry my bags. Shut up, Trevor. You <laughs> know. Not a chance. If Trevor wins Hell's Kitchen, I'll never cook ever again in my life. Seriously. Douchebags. <laughs> Nona. Yes, Chef. Run upstairs right away and get the guys. When Chef Scott came down, I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be bad. Come on in, fellas. Hopefully, some of you have been thinking about dishes that you've been wanting to create. Because I did receive word from Chef Ramsey that the menu is now yours. You will be designing your own menus for the next dinner service. Pretty exciting. Yeah. I'm excited. I already have dishes planned for apps, entree, and dessert. I want to get these great ideas on paper right now. Head upstairs. Let's go. Come on. Move, 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 move. Tomorrow, each team will be tested not only on their cooking abilities, but their creative skills as well. It's red menu versus blue menu. Anybody got an idea for apps? Yes. Yeah. I think we've got the raviolis. I like that. Each team will come up with four appetizers. Do some sort of Greek salad. Four entrees and four desserts that are worthy of being served in Hell's Kitchen. I got ideas for apps. We can do sweet and sour rock shrimp. Yeah, that doesn't seem so. I don't like that. We can do like a cold smoked duck dish. Cold duck might not be a good idea. I've worked in fine dining longer than Russell has. If Russell says something I don't like, whether he likes it or not, we're not going to do it. Oh, got a piece of I got it. Carpaccio. I love carpaccio. We're doing a salad. Of what? Strawberry vinaigrette with greens. It's easy. Yes, I agree. We, let's move on. I got ideas. We'll finish that later. Dude, we should do linguine with clams. I don't think that that's a good idea. We, we need to fucking win tomorrow night. We have filet mignon. New York strip. Yeah, dude, that'd be yeah. fucking good. Wait, Duck with lentils is like classic, like straight up. Sometimes I just feel like, what's the point of even speaking? Because nobody listens to me. Kung Pao calamari. Kung Pao Kung calamari. Kung Pao calamari. Ooh. I didn't think that our menu was fine dining. I wasn't impressed. <sighs> yeah, we're good. I was even thinking swordfish Rossini. Oh. I don't really like swordfish. You guys come up with some entrees. I've, I've even right. come up with something. What do you guys think of doing a striped bass? There you go. I like that. I'm sick of these two punk ass bitches. You're not a better cook than me. You're not more creative than me. Period. Awesome. I'm so excited. Yeah. Bada bing! With the biggest test so far for each kitchen ahead of them, the chefs decide to knock off early. But there are two chefs who prefer another option. All of this fun doesn't sit well with Russell. <laughs> who, before he attacks, decides to listen in. No longer private. I've been waiting upstairs for two motherfucking hours for you guys. We went over the entire menu again. Yeah. These motherfuckers are running their mouth. Trev's wasted, and Vinny's, you know, half in the bag too. And I'm gonna fucking smoke you guys. Two bottles of wine, four beers. Russ, let him fucking get all pissed off. I really don't care. It's funny. What the fuck are you doing up? No, come on. <laughs> the more pissed off he gets, the more I'm smiling. So. <laughs> Thank you.
As a new day begins in Hell's Kitchen, once again, there's no rest for the weary. Hell, it's time to get up. Or the hungover. <laughs> Because in a few short hours, the chefs will be debuting the menus they designed. Good morning, chef. Good morning. You guys need to work really fast because you're pretty much starting from scratch. Come on, guys. We got to do this. There's a lot to get done, but I hope that I can knock it out of the ballpark. Excited about the menu? Hell yeah. While the red team is confident in their menu, Russell is not so confident in his teammates. Trev! Boil the cream over. You're hungover, and if you guys keep dragging ass, I will break somebody off something real proper like. OK, let's go, uh, ladies, quickly. Yes, let's chef. go. Chef. Let's go, guys, please. Yes, chef. Uh, red team. Yes, yes chef. Blue team. Clearly, your menu, my standards. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Right, James, open house kitchen, please. Let's go. Yes, chef. Yeah, big night tonight. Let's go. The red menu versus blue menu has always been a critical dinner service in the past, and tonight is no different. Every customer will have the choice of ordering off the red menu or the blue. We got this, ladies. Let's kick some booty tonight. Let's do it. The red team's menu features wild mushroom risotto, vanilla poached lobster, and New York strip with sautéed cauliflower. Let's get the fucking ball rolling. The blue team's menu features whipped ricotta ravioli, roasted sea bass with fingerling potatoes, and grilled lamb chops with white bean puree. Once they start seeing our dishes, it's all they're going to sell. Both kitchens are eager to see which team's menu the diners prefer. Order in, chef. OK, here we go. On order, two kills away, table 33. Nothing at all. Away now, one calamari, one risotto, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef! Nothing to do with the blue, let's go with that. While Nona gets started on the red team's first appetizers out in the dining room... Let's start with the red team. I'm gonna go red, too. Red. A pattern is quickly emerging. Order in, Chef, two top, all red. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the red as well. Red it is. All the appetizers, all in the red team. Nothing in the blue team. Wow. What the fuck is going on? Again, all red. Nothing in the blue. What the fuck? What the hell's going on? They didn't want anything to do with us, and it made us feel about this big. While most of the diners are favoring the red menu, one special guest, I think the grilled lamb chops with eggplant carbonara, medium rare, has arrived with the specific intention of ordering from the people who we looked after yesterday. Watch this table, decide to sit on owner and Melise. Don't make me look fucking stupid. One ravioli entree, one lamb chop. Yes, yes chef. chef. How long is it going to take you to get a fucking lamb up, buddy? One lamb chop working. Josiah treated us with great respect yesterday. He, he really took care of us, and we need to return the favor. Vinny, we got to make this shit happen, bro. While the blue team hopes to impress Chef Citron... Risotto! Walking with risotto? Nona hopes to impress Chef Ramsey. Nona! It's undercooked! You need to cook the rice longer in the stock. It's undercooked. Yes, Chef! It's super important to come out of the gate strong, or else it Fs up the whole dinner service. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. I'm not here to wipe your little butt. Let's get that right. Plus, it puts Chef Ramsay in a shitty mood, and then he's going to be up our ass all night. Come on, risotto, quickly. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Walk in with risotto. Down, down, down. No, no. Very good, that risotto. Yes, Chef. With her opening mistake behind her, Nona has the appetizer station under control. Risotto's delicious. So let's go. And food is rolling out of the kitchen. Go. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen... Order in, Chef, all blue. All blue. About time. Orders are finally coming in. An order, thank God. All for the blue team. One biscuit, one ravioli, entree, two filet. Yes, yes chef. chef. It's one thing to not get orders, but it's another thing not to be able to execute the orders. Getting us off to a positive start, Chef. Because if we make our food perfectly, we have a chance to beat the girls. Let's go. Biscuit and ravioli. Coming to the window, Chef. Coming. Right hand side. Russell. Excellent. Thanks, Chef. Keep it going, Russell, yes? Yeah, I got to go. Keep it going. Yes, Chef. Service, please. With both kitchens sending appetizers. Bon appetit. Thank you. All right, now. One lamb, one bass. Yes, Chef. Chef Ramsay is ready to send out entrees. Where's your lamb? Is it in? 
lamp. Unfortunately, Vinny is not. Then you got a lamp shaft pulled? You need a lamp for the shoulder? Yeah. One and a half for the lamp. I don't have it at all. I forgot it completely. Where's the lamp? Six, six minutes on a lamp shaft. What? Have you forgot the lamp? Yes. Oh, fucking hell. I forgot the lamp shaft. That lamp was for Josiah Citron's table. James, come in. Fuck. Fuck. There's the fucking lamp. It's still got its fur on there. You know who this guy is, yeah? I know who this guy is, and I am very You sorry. ate in his restaurant? Uh, How long uh, are we out? Uh, about five minutes. Of all the tables, Josiah Citron. I'm very sorry. Yeah, fucking right you will be. Oh, dude, you're killing me. And not only are you killing me, you're killing yourself, bro. Chef Ramsay sends his apologies. I do apologize. For the love of God, please be fucking medium rare. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking lamb, Josiah. The lamb, how long? Lamb. I am bringing it up right now, Chef. God damn it. Lamb's still not ready. Unfucking believable. Vinny! Are you fucking kidding me? With a man like that, with his reputation, are you fucking serious? Oh, come on! Don't serve it if it ain't right. And you should know better, Vinny. If my lamb was here, those guys wouldn't be getting yelled at. It's still fucking walking! Look at it! I love it. Get him, Randy! Get him, Chef! This is a car crash! Trev, Russell, Vinny, do something! What the fuck is going on? Come on, Vinny, just get it back together. Let's go. Scoot down, let Russ take the meats. Fucking get this in the oven. Meat has to be the easiest station. It's only made me pull off. Dude, dude, it's a disaster over here. I know. Fuck it, I'll do it. Get out of the way. If you don't want to do it right, then let me do it. Thanks to Russell. We apologize. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I, seriously, I'm too embarrassed. Yeah. Chef Citron has right. finally received his lamb chops. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the red kitchen. Lobster! Yes, chef, coming up right now in, ten, in five seconds. Come on, Gail, please. Yes, chef. The women have also moved on to entrees and are looking to Gail to come through on her first lobster capellini. Gail. Yes, chef. Look, look. It's raw on the inside. That is raw. Yes, Touch. Chef. It's raw. Yes, chef. Come on, take the whole thing back. Hurry up, Gail. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Gail's effing up lobster and you fuck it up once, you figure it out. Gail, overcooked now. It's solid. Yes, chef. You fuck it up twice, you figure it out. What is that? Three times. Gail. Four times. That's raw. Five times. Gail. Six times. Every fucking table's the same. Like, come on, Gail. Get it together. Go, come back to the lobster. Come on. Yes, chef. It's an hour and a half into dinner service. And with diners at the same table ordering food from both kitchens, everything's here except for your lobster tail. Red diners are going hungry. I'm staring at everybody else's <laughs> table. It better be coming soon. While blue diners are receiving their entrees. Hi, you guys are me. <laughs> but not all of them are happy. How is it? The main course, no good. Overcooked, it's mealy. Why? Oh, it's horrible. James. How's your sign? Really, really unhappy. All of you. So you fucking go there, you grace his table, he looks after you, he comes in here and look at the treatment. Hey, have you ever won a Michelin star? No, I haven't. Yeah, there's a guy out there with two Michelin what? stars and look at us now like a bunch of fucking pricks. Well done. Unbelievable. Disappointed with the blue team, Chef Ramsay looks to Sabrina, hoping she can give him some good news. One New York strip. How long? Oh, man. Or any news at all. Sabrina. Sabrina. Um, yeah. Fucking answer me, you ignorant cow. One minute. Sorry, Chef. Come on, Sabrina. Sabrina, where are you? Where are you? Get in the game. Oh, Sabrina. Damn. Did I not do that right? What's up, Chef Ramsay? And New York strips cooked perfectly. Keep it going. Let's go. Yes, Chef. <gasps> Thank you, Chef. Go and fuck off, let's go quickly. 
It's two hours into dinner service, and with Sabrina mastering the meat station... You said four minutes, I give it to you in two minutes, chef. Entrees are making their way to the red diners, while in the blue kitchen... Fast, let's go! Yes, chef! After a disappointing performance on meat, Vinny is getting another chance, this time on the fish station. Come on, Vinny, you got it. I ain't giving him another cook pass, that's for sure. I fucked up the meat station. To save my ass, gonna need to save the day on fish. Where's the bass? Look at that, look. I don't know about that bass. This is not possible. You're done. Huh? You're done. That, that's what I get served. Look, come here, all of you. He brings that, pissing over. And the big surprise is the fucking bass is fucking raw! What the fuck is going on? I'm gonna get through this, chef. I'm gonna get through it. Vinny has dug a deeper hole for himself. Do someone want lobster? Right here, chef. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen... You walking, Gail? Walking? No, she's fucking sinking. Gail is under pressure to deliver a properly cooked lobster capellini after six unsuccessful tries. Gail! Look! I've got raw past. Hey, look at it. It's standing up straight. Look, madam. It's like a fucking thong left over from a fucking night out in Vegas. Come on! All of you. Just taste that, will you? Taste it. Taste it. That's what you're sending me. Taste it. It's hard. <sighs> Bad night. Bad night for me. Hold on, hey. It gets worse. Touch that. Rubber. It's raw. Every lobster you sent me tonight has been undercooked, overcooked, undercooked, overcooked. Now it's fucking raw. Look at me. Get out. Yes, chef. Get out. Get out. Fish and garnish. OK, chef. That fucking lobster. <laughs> I failed my team. I failed Chef Ramsay, so um, it hurts. <sighs> There's no crying in the kitchen. While Gail attempts to pull herself together in the dorms, back in the kitchen, the women pull together to complete dinner service. I'm dragging one lobster. Right now, chef. You got this. Come on. As soon as this goes out, we can go with the next one. One lobster, one salmon. Yes, Your chef. last table. Last ticket, guys. Come on. Yes, chef. Push it out. Garnish is ready. Garnish is ready. We can walk. Let's go. Up to the window right now. Please go. Let's go. Done. I am not happy. Tonight should have gone better. There's no winning team. Tomorrow, you will become one team. I want all of you to think about the one individual that you think doesn't belong under the final six. Clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Get out. As the two teams will become one after tonight, Chef Ramsay has taken the unprecedented step of asking the chefs to nominate anyone, no matter what team they are currently on. You want me to start? Yeah. Honestly, Vinny, last two or three services have been absolutely atrocious. It's not like it's getting better, it's getting worse. I absolutely, beyond the shadow of a doubt, feel I've earned my spot in the finals. Russell, clear as day, knows that I'm his biggest competition here. Starts throwing in a bunch of dirty comments to try to get me out of here. That really pissed me off. Everyone here has heart and love and drive and passion, with the exception of Sabrina. I wouldn't put Sabrina up at all, because I think she's done great. Tonight, Gail got kicked out, but I mean, everybody has a shitty service. If I had to pick one person, I think I would have to pick Trev. Sorry, but I just don't see that you could actually win this. Wow. I think it's difficult to work with you. He's an asshole to everybody. There's no way he's going to be part of the final six. I see amazing potential in me, and I can only go higher. How could you possibly not want me on your team? That seems pretty petty. I'm an asset, no matter which way you slice it. I think he's the wrong for picking Trevor. I'm not going to put on my girls, because they've done fucking awesome, so. Let's start with Russell, who should not make it to the final six. I voted for Vinny. He didn't pull his weight tonight, and he clearly, clearly fucking buried us. 
Wow. Uh, Vinny. Sabrina Chef. I don't think she would have lasted this long if the rest of the girls' team wasn't as good as they are. Uh, Trev. Sabrina. I don't think a 22-year-old is going to be able to run a high-end restaurant like the LA Market. That's two votes for Sabrina and one vote for Vinny. Gillian, who's the weakest chef? Trev is the weakest chef here. His attitude sucks. Wow. OK, Gail. Trevor, chef. Two votes, Trevor. Oh, it ain't over yet. No, no. Trev. Trevor. Yes. <sighs> Sabrina. Trev. Wow. Four women and four votes for Trev. Never been a ladies' man. OK, Trev, step forward. You have come a lot further than I thought you would. I don't know how to say this. Take your jacket off. Let's go, big boy. And put this one on. Congratulations. Thanks, You're in the final six. Well done. Thank you, chef. You may not be liked, but you've got the jacket. Damn straight. OK. The final six. My decision is... Gillian, step forward. Take your jacket off. Congratulations. You deserve one of these babies. Thank you, chef. Don't stop. I won't, chef. Uh... No, no. The lady with the palette. Well done. Thank Congratulations. You, yes. Russell, get your ass down here. Thanks, Chef. Uh, I appreciate it. Okay, two jackets left, three chefs standing. <sighs> Sabrina. Congratulations. You're into the final six. Why are you crying? I'm not happy. Well, you should be happy. <laughs> I've got one jacket. Who wants it? Gail. Vinny, step forward. Gail and Vinny, clearly the weakest chefs on tonight's service. I've got one jacket here. Who wants it? I want, I want a chef. chef. Vinny, why do you think you deserve that jacket? Being a chef is all I've ever really wanted, and I would be gravely disappointed if that jacket was not put around my back right now. My problem with you is that you are on the decline. Gail, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I can fight, chef. My team trusts me. They find me an asset to the team. I'm just going to keep fighting. OK, my decision is... <sighs> Gail, take off your jacket. <sighs> the black jacket's yours. Congratulations. Back in line. Vinny, take off your jacket. Tonight, we were backed up like I've never seen before, and I didn't expect it this far down the line. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Bye, Vinny. I lost. I had my shot right in front of my face, and I blew it. I came here with the intention of winning, and I failed. This is the worst night of my life. Chef Ramsay, I really wanted that black jacket so badly, you have no idea. Well done. Thank you, Thank chef. chef. All of you. Get out of here and get some sleep, yes? Yes, chef, chef. Well done. Thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. Well done, well done, well done. Good night. Ow! Yes, he said, Vinny, gone. Vinny, I took your black coat, bitch. I dodged Sabrina, the biggest up. bullet. I cannot wait to show Chef Ramsay everything that I have. I will die here if I have to. The girls hung me out to dry. Fuck the bitches. 
I'm gonna outperform all your asses. When the competition first started, I thought Vinny was the one to beat. But after tonight's dismal performance, he's now the one to go home. The winner of Hell's Kitchen will become head chef of the brand new multi-million dollar restaurant, LA Market, at the JW Marriott Hotel in downtown Los Angeles. A salary, a quarter of a million dollars. <laughs> And they will also tour the country as the official spokesperson of Rosemount Estate Winery. Next time. I'm really motivated now. I'm over the top motivated. It's down to the final six. And with everything on the line. <laughs> a quarter of a million dollars. One chef. It's salads. How long does that take? Loses his mind. There's pasta in the back. Stop it right now. Oh, come on. One chef loses control. Watch your mouth right now. Get your shit together and cook a pasta. I will kill you. And one chef. What's wrong with you? Just loses it. Where's the truffle salad? Stop yelling. Chef Ramsay. I cannot do this anymore. Does something he's never done before. What I want to ask you all is to take off your jackets. Find out who survives. Hey, don't try to send me shit. The Hell's Kitchen Massacre. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Next time on an explosive. It's over. And what are you going to grab? Hell's Kitchen. That's the lowest of the lowest.